Hey, welcome back on this Monday morning. So we are starting off a little hazy. Some cloud cover is out there as well this morning, but everything's kind of quiet. Here's a view over Lower Harbor at the moment. Um, so not a whole lot happening out there at right now. Uh, current temperature not registering, but we do have concerns for air quality. So if you are uh, a little sensitive to the haze and the smoke particles, uh, make sure to kind of limit your time outdoors today. We are also experiencing a few isolated rain showers, but that's not enough to really help us out with the air quality concern we're starting off this morning with. Otherwise, this week is going to be overall a dry week with the pattern being just a touch cooler. So we're not looking at a whole bunch of those 80s like we had last week. This is what's happening. That big dome of high pressure that brought in that heat last week has now shifted all the way to the northern plains and it's kind of sitting there. We're under a prominent northerly wind flow within the mid levels of the atmosphere and that's really bringing in those smoke particles from the wildfires up into Canada. So that's going to be around for today. Likely going to continue to have some haze on and off throughout the course of the week as well. And temperatures will be slightly cooler. Now, uh, aside from the smoke, we also have our own concerns for wildfire danger potential. Just like we had last week, we're still in this very dry trend with low humidity values in the afternoon. Today, not too terrible, but as we head towards tomorrow, those relative humidity values will be ranging around 20 to about 30 percent. So that's still going to put us under a very high wildfire danger risk potential uh, for today and also for tomorrow. So make sure you're following the burn restrictions in place. And aside from all of that, there is this weak cold front that is moving through this morning. As I mentioned, it's been popping up with a few isolated rain showers that uh, really have no big impact across the region. Uh, but if you're in Iron County or if you're in parts of Manistique right along right along the shoreline there of Lake Michigan. You could be dealing with just a few sprinkles out there. Here's the hour by hour. Those uh, isolated rain showers pretty much diminished this morning. Here's 1 30 in the afternoon and then here we go for tomorrow. Basically dry a mixture of sun and clouds for tomorrow and then it looks like Wednesday will have basically a mostly sunny day. We also going to have uh, some cooler conditions as well. So behind that cold front comes in some slightly cooler air. Here's uh, what we're looking at for temperatures. So for today, topping off towards the upper 70s for our areas inland near Lake Superior in the upper 50s to right around the low to mid 60s. So this is where it's going to be coolest today. Don't be surprised. You drive a little bit farther inland and it's a totally different story for temperatures. OK, right along Lake Michigan, same story, 70s there as we head towards tomorrow. Similar conditions for tomorrow afternoon and then again for Wednesday afternoon where we do have uh, that split for temperatures cooler right along Lake Superior as compared to the mid 70s for areas along the Wisconsin state line. So hovering around 70 degrees for this upcoming Wednesday, Thursday and then a little bit more